We continue our reading of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, an invitation to spend a year with your best friend, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Today's reading, July 13, Human Impossibilities Equal God's Possibilities. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Assuredly, I say to you, that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men? This is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Matthew nineteen, twenty three to twenty six. After the rich young ruler turns from Jesus and his claim of total surrender, Jesus tells his disciples that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven, just as difficult as it is for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. The camel going through the needle's eye imagery has had several interesting interpretations. One of them holds that walled cities had two gates. One was the great main gate through which all traffic moved. In addition, the wall often had a little lower and narrow gate. The theory suggests that when the main gate was locked, The only way into the city was through the little gate through which even an adult person could hardly pass erect. It is said that this little gate was called the needle's eye. Needless to say, if a person had to squeeze getting through, it would really be tough for a camel, the largest animal in Palestine. According to that questionable understanding, It was difficult for the camel to make it through the gate, but not impossible if it expended a great deal of effort. Such an analogy would make entering the kingdom of heaven for a rich person possible if they worked hard enough at it. But that is not what Jesus was teaching. By the camel and the needle's eye illustration, he was not saying, that it is difficult, but that it is impossible, just as impossible as for the largest of animals to go through the smallest of holes. That teaching caught the disciples off guard. Like other Jews, they viewed the wealthy as blessed by God, who, they ask, can make it into the kingdom if it is impossible for the blessed rich. With men, Jesus replies, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And with those words, Jesus sets the stage for his parable of grace in Matthew 20. God, help me to move beyond my misconceptions of your kingdom including those related to our impossibilities and the possibilities of your grace. This concludes our reading today of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus.